so we are locked in through week seven playoff NFL picture. So let's start off with the AFC. This is going to be like the divisional round. But yeah, like it's hard to believe it, but here we are. AFC Kansas City, no big shot there. One seed. In the NFC, one seed, you have the Philadelphia Eagles. Wild card round. Seven seed for the AFC is going to be the Buffalo Bills, Miami, second seed for the AFC. Six seed is going to be the Browns. Third seed, Baltimore Ravens. Fifth seed in the AFC, Pittsburgh Steelers. Fourth seed, AFC, Jacksonville Jaguars. So, AFC, are we shocked at what we're seeing here? No, not at all. All right. NFC wildcard round. Buccaneers, seed seven. NFC, seed two is the Detroit Lions. Six seed, NFC is the Cowboys. Third seed, San Francisco 49ers. Fifth seed, Seattle Seahawks. And fourth seed, the Falcons. Azure team made it into the wild card round, knocking on the door. Well, this is it right now. Things can change, but this is a playoff picture through week seven. All right, so how do I feel about it? Let's go on back to the AFC and let's talk about this. Not shocked to see Kansas City sitting right there. In the first seed. Not at all. And then the Bills. Seventh seed. But I do feel like. From last year. They could fall. Unless they really tighten up some things. Because you got a different set of dynamics here. You got. Miami Dolphins. Looking strong. Looking good. And then. Boom. There's the Browns. A lot of people didn't see the Browns coming. They probably thought the Bengals was going to hit the spot again. The usual suspects for, you know, NFL playoff picture. But then you got the Ravens sitting in three. Nice spot to be in. Two for the Dolphins. Nice spot to be in their AFC. All right. So then you got the Steelers. A lot of people didn't see that coming. But there they are. Fifth seed. I don't know why people wouldn't see uh, the Steelers not being there. It's just like, can they finish through and keep pushing forward? That that would be my thing. Just keep pushing forward. All right. So then you got Jacksonville Jaguars to round out the AFC. And to me, that's definitely a wild card because you can't take your eyes off of the cohesiveness, how they're playing, how they got here from last season. And you definitely need to watch Miami. And definitely, I would say, uh, that's about it for me that you really need to watch. I would say Jacksonville, keep your eye on them, but definitely watch the Dolphins and, uh, you know, just see what the Ravens do. All right, so let's go over here. NFC, NFC, wild card round. All right, I still don't like QB. I don't for my Buccaneers, but look where they're at. Seven seed. 
Detroit Lions, two seed. They're right where they should be, without a doubt. I said it last year. You kept seeing the building blocks of the Lions, how they were collectively, and yeah, I'm going to use the word again, cohesively being where they needed to be. Thus, there they are. And the Eagles need to watch out for that because the Lions have a nice, cohesive play. Okay? So, hey. We've seen the Eagles in their whole undefeated mode. We've seen them now 6-1. Do they have what it takes to stay in that spot? We shall see. I think that they do have a great chance for going back to the dance. But you got different sets of dynamics again. As much as I don't like that old Baker vibration, you got the Buccaneers sitting there, and they're sitting there in seed seven wild card round, and this is with a new QB and not with Tom Brady. Goatism, okay? So, got to give a round of applause to that team effort. But then you got, again, the Lions sit right there, two seed. And then look, look who's in three. Behind the Lions, there's a lot of talk out there on the boards, is the 49ers, three seed. Cowboys, they're right there in the mix. Six seed. A lot of flack has been going on. A lot of people still feel like, you know, it's just a shaky for the Cowboys. So we have to see what they can come up with and move the chains if they can. All right, fifth seed, Seattle Seahawks. Even through all the talk about the way the coaching style is and we need a better coaching vibe. Seattle Seahawks are right there. Fifth seed. And then rounding it out, you got the Atlanta Falcons sitting there in four seed. This is everything that anybody would want if you're a sports fan or a sport broadcaster, enthusiast, even if your team is out. Like, this is something really good to see right here. Got teams that made it in thus far that a lot of people didn't think that it was going to be, but that's what it is. You know, any given Thursday, any given Sunday, any given Monday, boom, you got it. So this is the playoff picture through week seven. Division around, once again, AFC, Kansas City Chiefs. NFC, number one seed, the Philadelphia Eagles. Wild card round. I love the wild card rounds. I love those knocking at the door too, okay? Seven seed, the Bills. Six seed, the Browns. Five, Steelers. Four seed, Jaguars. Three seed, Baltimore Ravens. Miami Dolphins sitting two seed, AFC. NFC, wild card. You got the Buccaneers at seven seed. Cowboys at six seed. Seattle Seahawks at five. Four, Atlanta Falcons. Three, the 49ers. And two, the Lions. And uh, we're about to go to the board and see what a lot of people are saying. So keep it locked. Okay. Somebody said, I would definitely try to avoid the Browns if I was a Ravens fan. Somebody said, I'm calling it right now. You got Eagles versus Ravens. Super Bowl. Okay. Now let's go see what people said about that. Because that's a nice, strong projection right there. You know? And somebody said, the Eagles won't make it that far. And then somebody said, uh, Eagles are fire. Someone said, Mahomes owns Lamar Chiefs somebody said different year different offense and defense for the Ravens goofy okay oh, don't you just like people like oh my god you call somebody goofy all right then there then you have like the Chiefs defense best in the NFL Chiefs by 17 and then somebody said we're really in the era of the Lions and Browns being in the playoffs at the same time and I'm like but you could see that coming more with 
the Detroit Lions. I could not see that as much with the Browns, but it's refreshing. It's refreshing. Okay, but I definitely saw the building blocks. I think a lot of people did too, whether you are a Lions fan or not. You saw those building blocks coming. So, yeah, we saw the building blocks coming. So, I love that. All right, so... Uh, let's see what else they're talking about. Um, oh yeah, somebody said it's only about the Jaguars. All right. Then you got AFC North is the best division in football. Okay. You know you gotta do what you gotta do. And then somebody was like, Cowboy fans are getting PTSD. Looking at this, I was like, Oh my god, there you go. You gotta love the boards. You gotta love the boards. And then somebody said, Not the Niners. And then somebody said, Ah, uh, we know what it is. It's gonna be back to back champs. We're building that legacy, Chiefs Kingdom. Okay. So then let's see. Okay, somebody says. Steelers are so sneaky good. Let's go see the responses on that one. Somebody said, yeah, the defense is good. And somebody said, uh, no, they're not. Okay, so you know those those kind of uh, rebuttals were going to be coming, all right? And then somebody was like, okay, Jags and Steelers this week. And they did the side eyes, all right? And then you had the big ups for the lions keep your eyes out for the lions got some memes here that i'm looking at on the nfl board and there there's coach tomlin and they goes like yeah man so you know everybody's doing their thing we're gonna see will we have a repeat of last super bowl matchups or will it be something different i would like to say i'm telling you uh, it might be something different but anyway we shall see Keep it locked with me, B.B. Davis, for B.B. Love Sports, where sports and gaming is the exquisite fusion. Peace.